No, I'm not pooping. No, 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 nope. Are you a big camper? Do you like camping? I have never gone camping. I love camping, but I'm not a big camper. I went when I was like five, and then since then I've been like three or four times. Honestly, I'm not, but I'm a big hiker. Yes, I love camping. I am like an, like I aspire to be a camper. Like I don't, like right now, like I need to like put the money in to invest to get all the camping supplies. Today on React, we are going to be looking at some of the craziest camping products that actually exist. Are any of these as seen on TV products? Maybe, okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Now you always have a place to go. It's the ultimate portable toilet. Oh, this is so outdoors. homemade. The original bumper dumper is made in the USA. <laughs> It easily mounts into most standard 2x2 two two square hitch receivers and the patented frame oh, can use why? standard and elongated toilet seats. Why? The optional TP holder clips onto the left and right I, side for I mean, convenience. Don't have a trailer. If waste the height is, is good. required, you can use nice a standard kitchen paper. trash bag and pull it no, over the corners of no, the frame. No, no, no. Or nope. you can line a five-gallon mm -hmm. bucket no how. that attaches to the frame. This makes for See, easy. you know, like going into this, I thought it was gonna be like a composting toilet, but no, it's just a toilet seat that you can attach to your hitch. I'm not gonna lie. This is an invention. So this is real. Like, it's not. That's www.bat.com. I think this is so awesome. I'm, the only thing I'm questioning, and I'm sure he's already thought about this, is the weight restriction on sitting on it if it's floating off of the floor. I'm not gonna say this is not a great invention because like, let's be real, you actually do have to go to the bathroom outside. And the alternative to this, which is like not glamorous, is being in the woods. It seems like a lot of steps for that. I feel like you kind of just like go dig a hole and like you deal with it, you know? I am not going to then roll up my in a bag and and then what are you gonna do with it? And how f hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some production value. Come through. What the f how many times has Why this happened to you? So bad? Well, You're out enjoying the beauty of nature when suddenly nature calls. I don't like where this is sometimes <laughs> not so beautiful. Introducing the squat strap. Oh squat strap? Squat strap. Squat strap. What is it? It's the perfect all-purpose camper's companion. For well, if you had the bumper dumper, you wouldn't need the squat strap. When secured around a tree, this high-quality eight-foot strap with loops at both ends provides stability and confidence when you need to relieve yourself. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> that looks like an SNL commercial. <laughs> I'm not into that because you're still free-floating. Um, you can't control your movements at all times. You don't know what direction things are gonna come in. I'd get the bumper dumper over this. Hard no for me, I feel like. I'm good. I think it needs a longer strap, but I did like the clippy thing. So you, you would use this, it sounds like. Yeah, man. Do you really need a strap to help you? I mean, like, just, I don't know. It just makes the whole process a little weird. It's like an off-white belt. I'll use that. This thing in front of me is the top enchilada, the big cheese in the world of Swiss Army knives. Ooh. Wow. What are we working with? All right, flathead. Just carry a toolbox. Blade, bottle opener, this is larger, not lie, really flathead, visual. and oh, can opener, right. That is right, way right, too right. much can to look at. Can opener versus cap lifter. Magnifying glass, never know. Here? What it's an just a knife. You don't. Contraption here. Oh, I'm also noticing. I, I just a don't ruler feel like here. a lot of those that. things are Inches necessary. And centimeters on the other side. A okay. file with some little tiny teeth on it as well. What's this? Oh. Yeah, Ooh, see? I see, he's looking it up, up in the book uh, like because nobody knows. Pharmaceutical what spatula. Is. Running out of space here. Wow. I never knew you could have a pharmaceutical so, spatula. There you have it. I just really want to know like the type of person who owns one. I mean, if you're gonna get one of those like multi-use tools, why not have all the tools? You don't need a watch on your pocket knife. You don't need a barometer on your pocket knife. That is way too much to carry on the go. Yeah, think about how much that'll weigh your backpack down. Oh my God, no. Hi, I'm Mike, and Hi, this Mike. is another Mike's Hi, Mike. Road Trip Mike. product review. Wanted to wait and open it up on camera no, to show you what it is. No, on camera? Oh, I have a better knife for you that we just watched. <laughs> This is like a commercial you'd actually see on TV. It's a jacket that turns into 
a tent. <laughs> He's so get excited. That. Like, get that! It's called the Jack Pack. Wow. So let me show you how this thing works. It seems it's easy all incorporated. So far, Mike, they're just Velcro. He looks like he's really struggling. You reach from behind. Wait, I kind of like this. this to is release the leg really portion. Convenient. And it's not a bad looking jacket. Merely step inside. The jacket doesn't look that bad. After you deploy the tent portion of the jack pack, oh. you simply secure the Velcro <laughs> strap underneath <laughs> and you're good to go for the night. Is this a tent? <laughs> is that the finished product? Him lying on the ground like that? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. That is such a strange product. I think it's very cool. I would not buy that. I need a little, like something a little more substantial. That is just an extended sleeping bag. The tent is like, a, that's a not shelter in my opinion. One of the most complicated things about camping is cooking. Do you know what an MRE is? No. I've always wanted to try these. I've never had one before. Ooh, sweet and sour grilled chicken. Pasta. Oh, I'm so excited. Lasagna. This is a big lasagna thing. I haven't had pad thai before. This one is chana masala. Now, see, I think these are pretty good. Now, thanks to MREs, you can add hot water to a powdery substance and have some very unique dishes mm. next to the campfire. And this is not bad. I mean, texture is questionable, but like, I'm not mad. That is so good. <laughs> I'm really into that. Mm, see, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. This is, this is really good. I like this a lot. What grade score would you get it? A B. It's not like fine dining. A++ for camping food, for sure. For a camping meal, I'm gonna go with an A. Honestly, S tier. Like I said, like I would serve this to people and they would not know that it was out of the bag. When I saw this, I first expected to be like, you know, oh, it's gonna be like another frozen food type thing. It's not gonna be that good. This tastes like something I'd like get at a restaurant, you know? Which of these items do you hope to have on your next camping excursion? That meal. For sure, I will take that meal. I'm actually thinking bumper bumper. I'd say the food, definitely. I would have to go with the first guy that had the toilet that connected to the hitch for the truck. I mean, for sure the MREs I would like. Which of these was like the most excessive, ridiculous product? Excessive? True to that word was the Swiss Army knife. That was super excessive, the unreasonable Swiss Army knife. Because just like of the fun factor, like, am I gonna be able to use that? Probably not, but just like it, it looks fun. Oh, that knife. I mean, come on, right? It just has, I mean, to have a pharmaceutical spatula. What are you, what are you doing out there, man? Thanks for watching this camping episode of React. Make sure to subscribe to React for new episodes every week. Have you tried any of these products? Which of these products are you dying to try? Let us know in the comments. Hey guys, it's Sierra. If you want to get notified every time we post a new episode, then click that notification bell down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye guys.